Hey guys, welcome to Make It Dairy Free. I'm Larisha. I am Andrew. And today we have the brand new <coughs> Beyond Burger made with avocado oil. Um, so this is just got released within the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, just found it in the stores. It is, I'll just get, jump right into price and it is roughly the same price as the other ones. Um, two patties is gonna be between like 450 and 550 depending on the store okay. that you go into. It does say new, meatier, and juicier. Um, however, I have a little marketing quip when I saw this and I wanna know if you agree or you were like, eh, whatever. Um, so when, when you first look at the package, it says like Beyond Burger plant-based patty made with avocado oil, and then it's called out 75% less saturated fat. So my thought is that like, this is gonna be a healthier burger um, than their previous one, mm -hmm. um, yada, yada, that type of thing. Um, but then if you look at the very fine print that most people just skip over, mm -hmm. um, it says, it's actually 75% less saturated fat than an 80-20 ground beef. Mm. So it's not 75% less fat than their other burger, it's 75% less fat than a beef burger. Got it. Um, and then it goes, it also says that on like the back of it, which is how I first saw it. And then I went back to the front and was like, um, hold on. Yeah. So what, what's your thoughts on that? Um, I think, I think Beyond Meat tries to often uh, do like the just egg thing where they're trying to bring more people from buying eggs to buy just egg or buying meat patties to buying, uh, you know, plant-based patties. Right. So I, I think for the normal consumer, um, not that you're not normal, but I think for the normal consumer, yeah. Somebody that's not vegan. Yes, yeah. exactly. Um, they would probably look at this and understand that the 75% less fat applies to, you know, a plant, I mean, a, a meat option. Right. Because like, they probably didn't even pay attention to the fact that Beyond Meat or Beyond Burger had a prior burger. So right. that that's what I think in regards to that. Got it. Do you think it's, deceptive to their core audience, which is vegans? Or um, for the reasons that you just said, like, you're like, no, because that's probably not who they're targeting, which is different than who's buying. Yeah. Um, not necessarily. Uh, I could see I could see why you could right. feel that way, mm -hmm. but I, I, I don't think necessarily it is because you don't like there's there's new vegans all the time right right so yeah. like maybe this new packaging for some reason in studies said that these gold and blue colors <laughs> and if you use a little nice little green line that says this it right. will it will do better so they're like all right well let's go ahead I, so i don't think there was an attempt to yeah. be uh, mischievous. Right. Okay, so since we're on nutritional facts, I will say compared to their regular burger, um, it is the same amount of fat. Um, there is- Compared to their regular burger? So they like have two different burgers? Yeah, so they still they will still have their standard burger from my understanding, but then they'll also have this avocado one. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm not 100% clear on that, so I'll just state that. I don't know if this will eventually phase out all the other ones, but right now the stores have both. Got it. Okay. Um, so same amount of calories, same amount of total fat, but it does have three grams less saturated fat. Um, and then um, it's vegan, so there's no cholesterol. There is 80 milligrams less sodium inside of these avocado ones. Mm -hmm. Um, one gram less carbs and then one gram more um, protein. So besides a few less grams of saturated fat, it, it's almost the same burger. Same exact burger. Um, but it is funny that they say meatier and juicier. So it's like somewhere in there they did something, but I wonder if it's just for us, it's gonna taste exactly the same. So I, I think 
I think the saturated fat or the fat content in the in the burger is a focus because before they used coconut oil, I think, um, as their um, oil. So the less saturated fat, obviously, right. could apply to the comparison between avocado oil and coconut oil. Um, but but also on the other. Uh, huh. Nothing. <laughs> Just listening to you. <laughs> I was gonna say, but also on the other end the burgers um, probably appeal to a broader audience because a lot of folks are allergic to coconut. Um, yeah. As I don't, I don't remember if that qualifies like as a tree nut or what it is, yes. but a lot of folks are allergic to coconut um, and maybe less folks are allergic to avocado oil. So there's a, uh, there's that right. for, for that purpose. So it was, it was coconut oil inside of it in cocoa butter um yeah. but yeah co coconut oil in the u.s is classified as a tree nut even though it's not actually a nut um so as far as since we're talking about allergens as far as allergens inside this one there is no coconut inside of this one um it is still made with pea protein similar to the other one and then the avocado is taking the place of the coconut um there are no other top nine allergens still mm -hmm. Um, so unlike the one with the coconut oil, this is actually top nine allergen friendly, um, because there's Good. nothing in there. It yeah. just has the, um, and maybe that was the overall focus here. Yeah. I did want to see, I, so I'm looking at my, I have the nutrition facts for the original one pulled up. So that's why I keep looking at my phone, but, um, I didn't realize it, I had seen it here and I didn't realize it is in the original one, but there's pomegranate concentrate. I thought there was just beet in there to give that pink color, but it's actually, it's beet and pomegranate. Nice. So yeah, it's always interesting to see like how plant based companies like because they're trying to mimic everything. So like the Notco has like cabbage juice and you're like, oh, that's weird. Yeah. So, all right. So we've talked about allergens price. I'm happy to hear that it's natural ingredients though. Not like red dye number 7,500. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Um, so we talked about allergens, ingredients, price already. I think the only other thing to do is cook these and try them out, right? Yeah, let's get it. All right, let's do it. So we are back. We cooked it. Um, you actually cooked it. So do you want to give your initial thoughts on like how it looked cooking? Looked like the normal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you, at one point you said like, oh, it like plumped up. Like it's like looks juicy. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I thought again, that was normal. So you don't cook these. You're supposed to thaw these before cooking them. We actually cooked them from frozen. Um, so I don't know if that's why it plumped up. Yeah. So, but we, uh, we recommend following the directions. <laughs> do as we say, not as we do. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah. We actually have buns this time, guys. If you're new here, we never, <laughs> we're just like bread, hot dog, burger, like something, not tortilla. I think we put a burger on a tortilla one time because we had nothing. Yeah. All right. Ready? I always, this is not, it has nothing to do with Beyond. I always love the sear that you can get on burgers. Cause I feel like I can't do that. I feel uh, like you get like a nice actual like crisp sear. Mm -hmm. I just burn it somehow. <laughs> like, <laughs> but that was my first ta thought, taught. That was my first thought is that like, oh, I like this. Um, this to me um, seems, better it does feel juicier i don't know if that's in my head because it says it on the package but it does feel like it is what do you think oh you're chewing sorry no no worries i was i was i was saying that like um i'm taking long oh i took multiple bites um I don't know if I would say it, it feels juicier. Mm -hmm. And again, it could be completely our fault because we cooked them from frozen. Mm -hmm. But it does taste really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would say it's definitely like 
to me, there's, there's like this slight difference. I can't really tell what it is, but I feel a slight difference in the, like what I remember in mm -hmm. terms of the Beyond Meat patty and this. Right. Not a difference that like, you know, you need to jump and go get these or anything, but like they, they taste really good overall. I, I've always thought Beyond Meat did a good job outside of the fact that they, it seems like there's a lot of ingredients and, and some randomness in there, but it's a good burger. To, to me, Beyond always had like a, I, I don't know if you guys saw, like I, while you were talking, like I smelled it. Mm -hmm. I always thought like it had like a, a weird after smell. Okay. Um, I don't get that with this one. I don't either. I don't um, remember if the other one did or, or not though. Yeah. Um, so I like that aspect of it. Um, if you are the type of vegan that does not like Beyond because it has like a very meaty texture that's hard to distinguish from a beef burger, I think that this is going to be even harder because it feels even like chewier. I don't, I don't know if chewier is the word that I'm looking for, but like, meat has like a, a chewiness to it. Yeah, um, like, like a resistance, like a bounce. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like this has like even slightly more of that than what I remember Beyond having. Um, overall, I'm a fan of this. Same. Um, and I, I would buy them again, depending on like, you know, do we want burgers for the weekend or are we grilling somewhere and we need to take burgers with us? Like that type of thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I would recommend them. You? Yeah. Certainly see them as like an occasional thing to enjoy um, during those uh, family times and, you know, fun times that you want to just get outside on the grill since that type of thing's coming up, you know? Yeah. For, for us, this is always like a um, occasional thing just because like, you know, processed ingredients and stuff like that, they're always higher sodium and we have to be mindful of that um, and that type of thing. But you know, like on the weekend or like you said, summer's coming up. So like we will occasionally have stuff like if we have family over or like we're going somewhere cause someone's hosting something and yeah. we're invited, like. Bringing something. Yeah, so um, yeah, I think that I like this one better than their previous burger and I would buy it again. I think we touched on quite literally everything. I know you sometimes ask me that at the end. Oh, you're just jumping into so like, I'm, we're I'm, good. I'm letting I'm, you know that I think we... You're like, I would like to finish my burger now. We covered and... the... I do want to finish the burger, 100%. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but, like, I, I figured I would let you know. I think we covered the, you know, yeah. conglomerate of questions that we want to cover. So if you guys have tried the new avocado burgers, let us know in the comments what your thoughts are. Um, if you haven't, uh, as far as store locator, we have seen these at ShopRite and Walmart, but we will also have a post linked in the description that um, links out to their Beyond store locator so you can find it in the area near you. It seems to be slowly rolling out like different places. So just be mindful that if like, it's not at your local store this week, it might be there next week. Um, so just keep that in mind. And I think that's it. I did have one question actually. I just okay. thought of one while you were talking. Okay. Are you a, were, you know, thinking about the old Beyond, the old Beyond Burger. Yeah. Um, are you a Beyond Burger fan or a like Impossible Burger fan? I have always leaned towards Impossible. Same. Um, now, considering that, <laughs> what do you think with this and impossible. I think we need to do a taste test again where we compared all of them. <laughs> okay. Um, because there's even some newer ones that we haven't got to try yet or like there's some some brands that I think maybe are coming out with a couple. Um, but I feel like I still lean towards impossible because it's a there's a taste with impossible that reminds me more of a burger than this, mm -hmm. but this has gotten even closer um, that I may consider like, if I walk into the store and I want burgers for the weekend and this is like on sale for like a dollar, dollar fifty cheaper than the impossible, I think I would get this one. Got it. 
Does that make sense? Yeah. A, a lot course. of a lot of my purchases, and I know you're this way too, even though I do most of the grocery shopping, is that like I'm not so brand loyal to very many things that I'm like I won't get the one that's on sale. Yeah. Does that make sense? Outside of yogurt. Outside of yogurt. Yeah. I'm only getting one. One yogurt. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. You especially. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, so yeah, let us know, are you impossible, are you beyond? If you are impossible and you've tried this, would you switch? Is there another burger company out there that you are, that you think is better, that we should try? This this is very distracting today. I feel like it's much more like giraffe, not giraffe, uh, elephant tusk, or spout, what, what does an elephant have? I, I think Snout? that's exactly what you were about to say. It's, okay. It's not a tusk? No, that's the, the ivory oh, things oh, that come yeah, out. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Um, is it just a nose? I, I, I don't know. No, why can I not think of it? I Anyways, it's like bouncing, but it's like very stiff and bouncing the whole time that you talk. Mm -hmm. So like as your jaw moves, it's like moving. The, like, Okay, that's completely, I mean, that's our normal aside. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. I feel kind of like Billy Goat kind of. A <laughs> Billy Goat. That's a good one. Yeah. That's what it feels like. You good now? I think I think I like it. Oh, you like it? Probably. Okay. A little bit. I can dig it then. All right, guys. We hope you have a fantastic week, and we'll see you in the next video. Believe in good. Peace. Peace.